Hello, welcome to Specs Tech. Today I have uh, two handhelds. Um, they're exactly the same, except there is one difference. Um, these are both consoles that I picked up for the intent purposes of dumping this My Little Pony games um, cartridge data, which I managed to do for the Windows XP laptop. But I figured I would talk about the devices themselves for a few minutes. Um, most notably this one, because this one, something interesting about these leap surfaces is that they actually have some modules that you can plug into the bottom of the system, as shown here. So I'm going to boot the camera application up on this one, but I picked both of these up for about uh, 20 bucks each. I got uh, this this one not too long ago, and they, uh, that one's the original one I had. Camera and video recorder. Also going to go for that pretty quickly because I think the battery's dying in that one. No rechargeable camera. batteries, it double A's, a bit irritating, so we're going to go through the camera on here. Yeah, it is a very, very low-rise camera, so we're going to, yeah, very, very poor camera quality. I can apparently do video. Now, there are some um, pictures and stuff on here from who are the previous owner, so I'm not going to be showing that, but... Yeah, kind of weird as a camera. Camera. But I'm gonna turn this one off. Um, so honestly, these systems aren't the worst thing ever. They do have a touch screen. They're resistive though, so you gotta put some effort onto it. Um, most of the software for these is kind of um not supported anymore. But I know that you can install RetroArch on these. On Linux, so that might be a good thing to pick up for if you want like a a, a GBA clone, I guess, because these are pretty cheap. These are probably cheaper than GBAs these days, and they take the same kind of batteries, so why not? They also come up with stylus and some built-on apps. I'm not gonna click on any of these because of copyright. I will click on the pony one now because I know that one's fine. I uploaded the whole soundtrack to my YouTube channel. And, uh, no copyright strike or anything, so I know I'm good to show this off a bit. But yeah, every, this is obviously an educational game system. It's not obviously going to be, like, the same level as, like, an Xbox or a PS4 or whatever. But, uh, I don't know. If you have, like, a 7-year-old or you're just curious to play the only official My Little Pony retail game before the G5 one, I recommend picking this up. Um... I've actually dumped the cartridge on the archive.org, and if you uh, plug this in with a USB FTP hose, you can actually put the game on here for free. All I gotta do is just drag it on to a specific folder. I might make a tutorial on it sometime, but yeah, I just think it's kind of cool that this is the only system to get a, a My Little Pony actual game. Sorry about the screen lighting, by the way, but... I don't know, battery life usually lasts about two to three hours. It's not the best. You just don't have any Wi-Fi or Bluetooth on them or anything. Everything was managed on a computer. Um, I did have a newer LeapFrog tablet, which does have Wi-Fi, and I had one that was basically just an Android tablet. But honestly, I think these two are just way better. But that's going to do it for this shorter video. Um, if I ever install RetroArch on one of these, I will make a part two video. But for now, yeah, that's going to be it.